What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Um, got a pretty interesting one I'm going to do for you today, but this is, what it's going to, this is going to be the viewer participation video, so to speak. Um, I am going to show you some anomalies, um, but there's one in the back. I'm not going to say, tell you what I think it is. I'm going to let you guys be the judge, and you guys can give me the answers. And then two things are going to happen. Either I'm going to... Um, Either I'm going to tell you what it is after I get so many answers, or I'm going to do another video of this, because believe it or not, there's some wild stuff in these things. Not a whole bunch, but there's enough to say, what the heck is this all about? Um, now, as anybody knows, the Curiosity is supposed to be, it's, it's well, it's in Gale Crater, of course, and it's and it's at the base of Mount Sharp. Um, and I call it Mount Crap, because it's not that the mountain may not be there, it's just that they've done so much manipulation, you can't tell. This video, uh, I'm going to show you the two pictures in comparison from one day to the other. This is from yesterday. This is from the 10th. This video I'm going to show you, or this picture rather. Um, got some pretty cool little things in it, and you're going to see how much they've changed up just in two days alone. Um, this is what I've got here. This is the picture I've got. And um, uh, anybody who has the magnifying feature, you guys can stop this at any place, take a look around. Um, uh, this is going to be the anomaly back here I'm going to show you guys. Uh, you guys can tell me what you think it is. In fact, you can pause it here and just look it over right now. But... Look over here, here, and here. And of course, there's something way back in here. It's got this weird pointed, it looks like, and it's got like this right-handed right triangle kind of thing, um, either A, etched in it, or it's just part of it. Um, but let me show you where you get it. This is great. Um, because this is what's funky. Uh, let me see. This is from, whoop, my bad. Let me do this. All right. This is the picture I want to show you. Now, this is from the 9th, because this is 477 Sol. Um, and I'm going to zoom right in so you guys can see it. Okay. Now, these anomalies I'm going to show you, first off, are, they're not rocks. But here it is. And it looks like right here. See this right here? And it's got this weird face to it. Okay. And you can see it's not rock. I mean, you can see the other rocks laying around. It doesn't look like a rock. There's something right here that kind of does this comes up and you can see it kind of slants down but the anomaly I want you guys to look at and actually I, I go from this one and this looks like some weird craft only it's edged in stone I don't even know how to explain it you guys can you guys can look at it and tell me what you think um, off to the right here I notice this here it has like this platform see how it's got this rounded kind of shape to it right here and it's open and it's got another radius part right here like it's some kind of whatever this is and it has an opening to it see it Okay, the the anomaly in the back here is with the one I want you guys to see. Okay, um, it's totally changed around. This is from the 9th, and this picture is from the 10th, meaning yesterday. Now, watch the difference in this picture. <laughs> this is great. Suddenly, these look, look a lot more or less than a rock. Okay, this actually comes up, slants, goes around. And comes down. Now look at the little nice smooth. It's like it's a rooftop of something. I don't know what it is. Same thing with this one here. It's got this weird shape to it. See it? Now, here's what I said. It looks like this kind of weird craft carved out in stone. And I'll show you why that appears that way. Um, first of all, it's got some symmetrical lines and got this weird design. Like, it's really crazy. But where did that thing go? That had that round piece. You can actually still see a little bit where the back of it go. It's it's gone. It's like it's not even there. Suddenly, though, look straight from here. That anomaly is right here. I want to show you guys. And I can almost see what that looks like right here just by looking at it. But it's right here. Okay. I'm going to show you again. Now, keep an eye. If you want to keep an eye on this anomaly, because now it suddenly appears in this one at least a little bit better. And this one is gone. And these have changed. So, one, two, three, four. I'll let you guys take a look at it. In fact, I'm going to back out, and you can, if you want to use your uh, magnifying tool or whatever, you can look this over the way it sits right here. Okay. I'm going to jump out of this picture, back to the ninth, and here it is. Why is it suddenly different? Now, you can see this piece is in the ninth. December 9th, it was in the picture. You look straight from this this little anomaly or this drawing or whatever it is in the stone. Suddenly you can't make out that anomaly to save your life. It looks like nothing. Even this doesn't even look right. 
So they're going out of the way. To, they're trying to hide whatever these anomalies are. In other words, they are there in the picture. They're just... It's like they're not paying attention sometimes. They're like they're doing more manipulations than, than on some days and some less. Um, this particular anomaly, if you notice in this picture, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. These things, whatever they are, are all in a row. Now, let me see. I'm going to go back to the one I'm doing. Um, this is the one I'm doing. This is the latest picture. This was from the tent. I was going to do this yesterday, guys, but I ended up going to work yesterday and really didn't have enough time. I said, ah, it's no big deal. I'll just go ahead and throw it on here today. Um, but And there's going to be more from these because there's some other wild things in these pictures. Um, I'm definitely going to be showing you guys. Um, there's not an abundance of them, but the fact is they, they're there. Um, so, yeah. But this is the picture I'll be doing. And you can see, like I said, like this comes, comes up just a little bit, goes over, comes down. See it? And it has like a face or some kind of like flat pot hair. Same thing with this one. Goes up and comes back down. And of course that other thing is missing. But from here. And it goes straight up. There's an anomaly. So. Alright. Let's jump to mine. I'm going to show you here. Whoop, that ain't it. Um, this one here. Okay. Again I'm going to go ahead and leave it for these guys right now. This is the picture. You guys can use your magnifier if you like. Check it out. And like I said, you know which areas to check. This one, one, two. Well, there's really nothing much there. But this three, even this one here, you'll see this is just funky. It's like it's a carved something or other. It looks like some kind of craft. Or they just Mickey Moused it to make it look like it's nothing. I don't know. But And then the back here. So I'm going to get the cursor out of the way. You guys can um, pause it right here. Look at it with your magnifier. Whatever it is, you can bring this picture in and zoom into it. And go and do it up. All right. I'm going to jump in this thing. Go 200% in here. Now, see how it's just got these weird... It's like this weird drawing or something right here, but it's got like these little squares going across. This weird kind of shape. It's, I don't know if it's some kind of drawing or they made it look like a stone. Uh, I don't even know. I, it's it's crazy. Um, but keep in mind, these guys are now trekking. Because, uh, you know, we all know anybody who's been paying attention. Is, is, we're definitely in Gale Crater. But, I mean, as far as Mount Shop, right at the base of it, now we're supposed to be going across up into this... Um, now, uh, Mount Shop. So, all right. So, we're still at the base regardless. But they're working their way over to it and trying to... Uh, they're going to do a climb up on this thing. So, and I've got one coming up, a video, and, you know, you'll be... Make you think. Um, but anyway, it's this here. I thought that was pretty unique. There's something way back... And then you don't see it here in this picture now. And I just realized that. Let me see if I can figure... See this again in this one here. Um, let me see. That's not it. Oh, that's not it either. All right, let's do it this way. Uh, go back to this, the ninth. All right, this is that thing I told you about. It has this weird pointed front to it. See how like it shows it right here? It's got this line right here, but then it goes out to almost like a not a point point, like a needle point, but it has this rounded tip to it, and it has like a right angled triangle in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll back out, and if you guys want, you can magnify that and check that out. Um, so that's changed in that picture as well. Um, bring this one back up, and you don't see it here at all. But, again, this anomaly is here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get started with this. All right, that's the that's the angle in question, or the, the pot in question. Now, you see it's centered. It's in the center of that picture. I'm going to back up to 50%, so now you guys will know exactly which it's right in the center of that picture. It's pretty large, too, because keep in mind... That this is a curiosity, and it's, yeah, um, curiosity is not a small toy. Uh, I think it's like 9 feet by 9 feet by 10 foot tall or something like that. It's somewhere around, roughly around them uh, measurements. It's pretty large. They say it's like the size of a small SUV. So if this thing's off a little bit in the distance, it's pretty big. I mean, it's not gigantic, but it's pretty big. Maybe around the size of this thing. Um, but, okay, that's it right there. Now, I'm gonna just going to equalize a few guys. I'm going to leave it the way it is. You can pause it when I equalize. Okay, you can check it out. And like I said, I'm going to do these steps for the people who want to magnify it and then check this stuff out a little bit more. Um, now I'm going to blur it. Sometimes it's better for the people who are magnifying, sometimes not. Um, I've got it at 50%. You'll have to do three or 400%. I, I actually went up to 500% on this. And it actually, you can see this thing pretty well. Now people have different, I've asked different people, some people were pretty close with each other and some people were like, you know, uh, had other ideas, they called it something else. I'm not going to tell you what anybody said because this way here, 
Um, I don't persuade you guys in any way, shape, or form. Um, okay, brightness and contrast. You can pause it here and then check it out. Um, I'm going to sharpen it too. Sometimes it helps us, sometimes it doesn't. But let me sharpen it, and then you guys can check that out. Okay. Um, let me go back in. Go back to this here. I'm going to zoom in to 200%. Um, now, again, this was taken yesterday. This was just hot off the press. Now, for the people that don't have the magnifier, just choose not to use it. That's your prerogative. Um, again, it's in the middle of this, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, but there it is, just by simple. And you guys can do this yourself. That's why I showed you the steps. So this way you guys can do this yourself and say, okay, let me make my own decision. And that's what this is all about. Blur it up a little bit. Okay, like I said, it's right smack dab in it. It's pretty, pretty large for this square anyway. Um, I'm going to brightness and contrast. See if you can't bring it a little bit more. Okay. And I'll sharpen it. Not always the best thing because it kind of gets a little bit grainier, but we'll still sharpen it just for the heck of it. I'm going to back it off just 100% so it's only 100. There it is. Okay. So I definitely need you guys to tell me what you think this particular thing is. Um, me, these look metallic in the front here. They really do. They look metallic. They look like they're, they're obviously intelligently made. Um... Because, like I said, this one here just kind of goes straight up out of the ground, slants this way, comes across, and you can see that nice little, right there, that nice little uh, angle right there, nice and smooth, and comes down like this here. This one's kind of like, you can just see it just looks smooth and shiny, as opposed to even this rock here. Look at this. Boom, 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 and goes across. Um, there's just some goofy things in these pictures, guys. Um, and like I said, whatever this is, I mean, it's, there's some other weird stuff here, but you can't really make out what that is, but... Looks like there's groups or whatever these are. Just like there's, there's actually one here, 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 and it goes all the way down. So, um, but this was just a quick picture to show you guys what I think this is. Now, this here, I'm going to show you. This is kind of stuck out. It's kind of strange for me, too. Um, this is what I said. It looks like some kind of drawing of, like, or uh, sketching in a stone, so to speak. Or it's just a manipulation. One of the two. Um, of, like, it looks like a spacecraft. Um, now, I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to blur it up a little bit. Now, see how it's just got these weird symmetrical lines, like somebody drew this in there? But it looks like it's got these, like, little openings. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can't see it. It looks like it runs all along this here, but there's just the squares stop here, and then it goes down into a line. Um, and then it comes down like this here. I don't know, it's kind of kind of goofy. Look at even this right here underneath this rock here doesn't even make sense. It just, I don't know how to make that out. But um, let me do this. I'm going to back out. But like I said, if people want to use a magnifier, um, I can do this this first. Let me just equalize it. Okay, you can stop it. Um, brightness. You can stop it here if you want. Blur it. And like I said, the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is this way people can see there's nothing missing. They can make their own decisions what they think this stuff is. Because me personally, you know, this is definitely modern day stuff. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, now, I mean, you look at it just in the back here. Look at the shapes, the crazy shapes in here. Got this round opening here. Look anywhere in this picture, and it'll just, wow. Um, and again, you already had it put back, so you can actually look it over again with your magnifier. Um, now, I'm going to invert this for the heck of it. Now, watch this. See how, like, it just... Now, either that is something, and they try to go over it to make it look like it's just nothing. Um... There's something right here, too. I don't know if that's just part of it. Let me just go back. But see how it's still in the picture, and it's got this weird shape to it. See it? Like it's some weird... I don't even know what to even call that, but it goes across, and it looks like it has this angle coming down here and straight down. Whoops, my bad. Um, but when I invert it, see how it's got like this weird shape, and you see like a section of it here. It comes down, goes across. Even this, you can tell this is not a rock. So what they do is they put this stuff over whatever this is. I mean, you can see something that's underneath this. See this? Got lines and stuff to it. They like put stuff over this to block whatever this actually is. So it looks like a rock. I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't think nothing of it. But I mean, people have to use a little common sense too. I mean, why is it that this happens to be so much brighter than the rest of this? Unless, of course, you're trying to hide something. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, now, I don't know if there's too much to hide here, but as far as. I mean, you can just see it looks like it's like they just cap this thing and just put something over just to make it, just to hide it. But, you know, this is clearly something differently shaped. It's not like a rock, per se. And there's something right there. It looks like there's something buried right here, too. Look at it. See, it goes across, comes down. 
There's something right in here. What is that? Let me see if I can back out of that. Yeah, it's still there because you can see this weird shape to it and it goes down. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Right here at the edge. Comes down. Another opening right here. Another opening right here. And it's just about buried in the grass. I mean, well, not the grass, but the gravel is what I meant to say. Um, there's grass there. It's a funky looking grass. But but you can just see it's just things here that just don't make sense. It's like, why the manipulations? And, of course, I think we know the reason why. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. I showed you these these things here. Um, just a basic picture. Um, like I said, I don't believe any of these. Um, well, other than these. Let me just do this. Well, we don't really have to. Um, base image. All right. Like I said, these here look like, I mean, just, I mean, you can just tell it's intelligently made. It's not a rock. These are not rocks. I mean, and that thing that's missing here and that missing here, um, it's crazy. Um, and this is the one, like I said, I want you guys to see. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just, for the people who don't have the magnifier, um, that there, okay, I'll put it like this first, and you can kind of see it a little, a little bit differently as far as shadowing or anything like that, or too much dark or too much, too much brightness, uh, that there, and that there, okay, just pay attention to all the lines, any kind of shapes that's associated with this particular object right in the middle of this picture, just look at the way everything's shaped, the lines, the angles, whatever. Uh, that's what I look for, angles, uh, shapes. Um, you know, sometimes shadowing has a lot to do with it. Um, eh, like I said, shopping doesn't really help too much. But um, but as far as anything else around it, if you want to look at that too, that's fine too. But anyway, hey guys, that was just a short video. I just wanted to show you guys what I, what I saw in here. And I'm going to start having these videos where you can have, it'll be like uh, more viewer involvement. And they can just tell me what they think it is. Uh, because sometimes, you know, I can say what it is and people just go, yeah, I think it's this. So why not just start off with that and just kind of reverse it? Um, let the viewers themselves sound off first and then I'll say, hey, I, this is what I think it is. Um, or, or, you know, we'll just see how it plays out. Let's just do it that way. Um, for anybody who hasn't subscribed, please do so. I mean, I've got some wild stuff on here. Um, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm the channel. I just love to do things that are hidden. Um... Or just totally hidden from the people, or and I and I do things that are in your face, like carving, uh, carved stones, and stuff that are uh, that, or just things that are in the picture, and I just enhance it to see to let it pop, so you guys can see the stuff a little bit better. So um, with that, I want to let you guys go. As always, I uh, you know I appreciate you guys watching and uh, appreciate the thumbs up and uh, my subscribers. I appreciate I appreciate you guys greatly. In fact, I'm up to like uh, not that it's a big deal. I've been it's probably what two and a half months I've been on this, and I've got. Uh, uh, went over the 200 mark as far as subscribers. That's telling me people are interested in finding the truth. That's telling me that people, whether you use this just for entertainment or you want to analyze this stuff yourself because you're a hardcore skeptic or whatever, by all means, jump on board. That's what we're here for because I want to know the truth like everybody else does. I want to analyze in every direction and you know dissect the picture and just flat out see what it's all about. And um, you know, um, you know, again, just find the truth. So. Let's get together and do that. Anyway, again, thanks you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna have one. It's uh, probably one or two more uh, from the latest um, curiosity pictures that have been added to their galleries. Uh, but you can see from one day to the next, look how much they change. Big difference. So they go. Sometimes they manipulate a little bit, a little bit more, and sometimes they don't. But you can see these things are not stones. They are clearly something intelligently made. Uh, again, this is at the base of Mount Crap um, Shop. And you get the idea. So, anyway, um, we'll see you guys next pick. And, um, like I said, just stay tuned. <laughs>